Hello Scorpio, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have Free Yourself, and then we also have Romantic Feelings with Reconciliation, and then we also have Chemistry. I feel like this, this overall energy is very separate from this overall energy. I feel like this is one person. I feel like this is like a whole other individual. I feel like somebody's like... How do I say this? I feel like somebody's forcing themselves to not go back to a person that they obviously have a lot of history with. Yeah, I feel like somebody's forcing themselves to not go back to a person that's clearly trying to get back with them. Let's get right into it, Scorpio. We're going to focus on you first, and we'll jump over to your person. Keep in mind the roles can be reversed. I'm getting false promises out of nowhere, but... God, that messed up my whole freaking intro, and I, I don't even remember where I left off. Sorry, but just keep in mind, uh, Scorpio, that the roles can be reversed. Also, keep in mind time is fluid, so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. All right, let's do it. How does Scorpio currently view this relationship? So we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Four of Swords, and then we also have the Ten of Swords. Okay. Now, when it comes down to how you're currently viewing this relationship, I do see you walking away from someone here. And it's definitely a soulmate that you're choosing to walk away from. And I'm sure you have your reasons as to why you're choosing to walk away from this soulmate in particular. Now, with all of that being said, I kind of feel like you're in this overall energy, Scorpio, of reminding yourself that you're going to be okay without this person. You're going to be okay without this person, all right? Um, you know, th this could definitely represent somebody that you spent many, many, many years with uh, to the point where you just got so accustomed to having this person around. You got so accustomed to life with them, right? And now that they're not in the picture anymore, um, it may be, you know, taking, you know, you a little bit of time to like adjust to life without them, you know, around. But I feel like this is you reminding yourself that you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. You're going to get over this. You're strong. Like you got this, right? I feel like you're telling yourself like, you know what? I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine without them. I'm going to be fine. Damn it. <laughs> How does this person currently view this relationship? Hmm. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. Jesus. This is kind of like the epitome of losing everything. Losing everything. You guys could have very well... Um, yeah, you guys could have very well gone a divorce, if that is the case. And you guys just so happen to have like, um, like a house together. Uh, maybe you were granted uh, the house... Yeah, maybe you were granted the house um, in a court proceeding. Okay. But yeah, moral of the story is, is that this person feels like they lost everything. They feel like they lost their family. They feel like they lost their home. They feel like they lost it all, basically. They feel like they lost it all, basically. How does this person currently feel? And it kind of looks like they want it back. Okay. So we have the page of pentacles. We got the four of pentacles. And then we also have the... Hmm. I feel like this is them trying to come back your way and butter you up and call you a biscuit, my friend. They don't want to let you go. They don't want to let you go, and they're going to make that very crystal clear to you that they don't want to let you go. They don't want to lose you and everything that they've essentially built with you thus far. And they're going to make that very crystal clear to you. How does Scorpio currently feel? We have the moon. We have the five of pentacles. I feel like you're the one that I was talking about. As far as like this overall energy is concerned, as far as like, you know, somebody forcing themselves to not revisit something. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. I don't feel like this is your overall energy. I feel like this is your person's overall energy. This is them taking action in your direction. And they're speaking their mind and they're telling you how they feel. Scorpio, I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose our family. I want to make this work. I want to make this right. 
Give me the opportunity to make this right, Scorpio. Give me the opportunity. I feel like this is... How do I explain it? I feel like this is you reminding yourself of the person that you were while being with this person, if that makes any sense. Like the person that you were when you were with this person, it was somebody who was insecure. It was somebody who didn't believe in themselves, you know? And I feel like this person could have made you feel that way, possibly, um, you know, as far as you feeling extremely insecure or feeling like you weren't necessarily good enough or that you would never accomplish absolutely anything in life without them. Because, you know, there's some people out there that like to do that. But this is you kind of looking back at the old you. And let, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this, okay? And I want to really throw this out there. You're coming across as a queen of wands now. So that just goes to show that you've made some massive improvements on your behalf since this person has been out of your life. Some massive ass improvement here. And I want you to acknowledge that. And I want you to also be proud of yourself because of that. Because I feel like you've drastically changed ultimately for the better since this human being has been out of your life. Um, and you're kind of looking back at the old you like, I don't want to be that person anymore. I don't want to go back to that. I don't want to feel that way anymore. Okay. What actions will Scorpio take towards this person or moving forward? Okay. We have the Four of Wands. It's interesting because the Five of Swords, like, I took it in the upright, but for whatever odd freaking reason, I decided to fucking put it in the reverse. I apologize that I just cussed. I'm trying not to cuss, y'all. I'm trying. But, yeah, the Five of Swords, I don't know why I just flipped it in the reverse. I'm, the Five of Swords in the reverse, it basically speaks of forgiveness. It speaks of forgiveness. What actions will this person... They don't, they don't want to, they, they don't want to face this. They don't want to face this. This being the ending of the two of you. They're not trying to freaking face it. They don't want to face it. They don't want to look at it. They don't even want to acknowledge it. I feel like this is them kind of overpowering your reading towards the end. I want to ask again, what is it you plan on doing moving forward? But they want your forgiveness. They want your forgiveness. What actions will Scorpio take towards this person? Okay. I gotta be honest what it is that I'm seeing here I don't see you taking this person back okay I don't see you taking them back as of right now now could that change over time yeah of course I can totally change dude over time I can totally change um you know maybe I don't know maybe a month from now you'll have like a you know all of a sudden change of heart possibly but from where you're sitting right now my friend it doesn't look like you have any sort of intentions of getting back with this person. It has everything to do with this overall energy. You're looking back at the old you like, I don't want to be that person again. I don't want to be that person again. I don't want to fucking be that person again. Like, I don't know if you've noticed this, but it's like the more I look into your overall energy, the more I see you improving. The more I see you improving. You go from the nine of wands, which I feel like you were the nine of wands in this relationship. Not feeling safe, not feeling supportive, not feeling secure. Like you go from this nine of wands energy to the queen of wands. That's in, That in itself is a boatload of improvement. And now we got this shit here. You go from the queen of wands to the damn strength card to the nine of cups to the ten of pentacles. Like this is you feeling happy, whole, and complete all by yourself all by yourself like I feel like you're kind of realizing like damn I should have done this years ago you know what I mean like if I knew I was gonna feel like this I would have done this years ago like I feel like that light bulb moment is eventually going to hit you it's eventually gonna happen for some of you you're currently experiencing this and well for others of you it may not hit you I'm sorry it may have not hit you just yet but it's like an overall energy of like fuck like if I knew I was gonna feel like this I would have done this shit years ago. You know, it does kind of have that feel. Point is, is that you're doing it now. You're doing it now. Um, I am kind of curious. 
to see what's going to ultimately end up happening here because they want your forgiveness. It kind of looks like you're not really trying to like, not that you're not trying to forgive them, but you're not trying to get back with them. That's one thing that I am kind of getting primarily off of you. You may have forgiven this person for what they put you through. I highly recommend that you do if you haven't. Um, but as far as getting back with this person is concerned, I don't see that happening. I'm sorry, but it's like you're realizing it's like you're, you're kind of realizing that you're changing. You're totally changing. You're totally evolving. You're doing 10 times better now. Why would you give this life up for this? A life of not feeling safe or secure or supportive. Um, why the hell would you do that? You know, it makes no sense why you would possibly do that to yourself. You know what I mean? But let's see. Let's see. Because, listen, things can change over time. Who knows? Maybe this person might change, you know? Let's just see. Let's just entertain it. I mean, yeah, might as well. Okay. What's going to ultimately happen here between Scorpio and this person? You may have to deal with this person because there are children involved. Because I am kind of getting that. You might have to deal with them because there are children involved. Um, let's see what's going to end up happening here between you and this human. Okay. Okay. I want to focus on this energy right here, okay? Like I said, this one over here is going to really come in and butter you up and call you a biscuit, my friend. And it's coming from a place of them not necessarily wanting to face this ending here between you and them. So they're going to come in and they're going to butter you up and call you a biscuit. And they're going to walk a fine line in the process of it all. I see you, for the most part, letting whatever it is that this person is telling you going through one ear and out the other. Because it's that overall energy of... Yeah, you've said that before. Yeah, you, you, you promised me you wouldn't do that, but you did it again anyways. Like, that's what I was kind of getting in the very beginning, false promises. It just kind of hit me out of nowhere and it fucked up my whole damn intro. But that's all right. I forgive this person for that, okay? Because uh, I kind of feel like this person has made a lot of false promises uh, to you. And you're just like, yeah, you said that to me before. Yeah, been there, done that. No, thank you, right? But this is what's interesting to me is this energy coming from you. Queen of Cups, Judgment card to the Three of Pentacles. It's kind of like that overall energy of like, but what if like this time they actually change? Like what about like this time? Like I know that they haven't changed like the 20 times prior to this moment that we're having. But what if, what if this time, you know, it's, it'll be different, right? Between me and this person. What if, what if, right? And I kind of see you slowly entertaining the idea of getting back with this person. And hey, listen, there's nothing wrong with that. Do what you want with your life. You know what I mean? But it's kind of like, yeah, I know that they messed up like 20 times prior to this moment. But it's like, what if this time, like they finally realize that, all right, like they need to get their act together. And what if things get better, right? Um, what should Scorpio do? What should Scorpio do? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we do have, what do we got? We have the Queen. Stop. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Two of Wands. We also have the Chariot to the Ten of Cups to the Strength card. In regards to what you should do, Scorpio, I feel like you need to kind of hold off on making any sort of major decision when it comes on to this human, okay? Don't rush back into a relationship or anything like that because granted, you know, I'm a firm believer that everybody has the ability to change, okay? If this person is over here telling you that they've changed or whatever the case may be, um, allow them to actually show you that, okay? Allow them to actually show you that they've changed. Like, don't you know, move in with them all over again. You know what I mean? Like, don't jump back into a relationship with them all over again. Like, allow this entire situation to just simply play out, right? You stay over there and, you know, just see what happens, right? Just have them stay over there, wherever there is, right? Um, I just don't recommend that you move back in with them or anything major like that. Again, Hold off on making any sort of major decisions like moving in together, um, investing in a home together. I don't recommend that at all. Like, 
I think that you just need to hold off on making any sort of major decisions when it comes on to this person until they allow you to really show you if in all actuality they have um, honestly changed. Because by you holding off on making any sort of major decisions here when it comes on to this person, it'll allow you to see if this person's really serious about the whole I've changed and I'm going to do better or not. And then depending on what you see and what you witness, you'll be able to determine whether or not getting back with this person is what you want to do or just simply keeping things as is between you and this person, which is basically over is what you want to continue to do. Point is that you need to really hold off on making any sort of major decisions when it comes down to this person, okay? Um, allow this person to show you who they are, okay? Now, with all of that being said, Scorpio, hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Um, also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.